Welcome to the Gruesome Minute from Gruesome Magazine and Horror News Radio. This is Doc Rotten from Gruesome Magazine. Joining me today is... Dave Dreher, contributor at Gruesome Magazine and the Horror Channel. Dave, today we are gathering uh, to talk about another trailer that dropped. This one dropped on April 1st. Saturday, April 1st. That's a strange day to drop a trailer because who's going to believe it, right? <laughs> but it's there. Not only did it drop, it has a name change. Annabelle 2 is now known as Annabelle Creation. Uh, this is a film from David F. Sandberg, who did Lights Out last year, and written by uh, Gary Dauberman, who did the first one. Uh, what was your first reaction to the this second trailer? Uh, my first reaction was, oh, goody, an origin story. <laughs> I and I did too, but I said it in like, oh, goody. <laughs> and we're just actually, uh, I liked what I was saying. Uh, is there something that stood out to you? Uh, no, the trailer, the trailer looks looks good. It really, it really does. Um, it's um, you know, um, I'm I'm just not sure how I feel about an origin story for Annabelle. Uh, but apparently we're going to get it anyway. I mean, looking from what we've seen on the trailer, we're actually going to see Annabelle being built, right? Isn't that what the, the trailer starts with them actually like carving the face and sticking the eyeball in? Yeah, it's it's certainly it's certainly going to go down to when it's actually you know actually, truly being we created. Yeah, we might see the tree. Might see the tree. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if they're going to go quite that far uh, where they're cutting down the tree. Although I've seen films do that, where oddly, um, the yeah. So there's a it looks like like a small orphanage. Out in the will out in, in the prairie, and uh, uh, our girl, lead girl, is uh, heading there. It is run by uh, Miranda Otto and uh, Anthony Lapaglia. Paglia? I can't say that name. How do you say it? Paglia. Lapaglia. Yeah, I would go with oh. Lapaglia. Okay. And and Anthony Lapaglia. And when she gets there, she finds out there is a spirit that's roaming the house. The spirit is of their daughter. And they apparently have made a, made an agreement that if uh, if she can live in a doll, she can stay with them. And it there's nuns and scary things happen and claws and yeah, there's all kinds of weird stuff going on in there. A lot of atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, little kids like twitching oddly and yeah, <laughs> tables shaking and then there's just all kinds of stuff going on. But I understand that it didn't quite sell it to you. It, it, I I I, I kind of can't get past the whole idea of the origin story. Um, in in our genre of choice, origin stories are notoriously not good things. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. I by no means do I want to poo all over this. Uh, the trailer looks good, and like you said, there's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, David Sandberg uh, has proved himself with Lights Out. Uh, there's no reason to be anything but excited for this. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, and my family actually gathered around to watch this uh, off YouTube on the big screen TV that we have, and uh, they are all terribly excited. They actually are looking forward to this. Now, you know, they don't have the same, you know, anticipation that we do because of, uh, you know, us deep diving into the horror, but yeah, it, it, it worked really well with the family. So I'm I'm thinking this is going to be big. Annabelle Creation Day uh, comes out August 11th, 2017, and we should note, it's rated R. Yeah, that bodes well. I like that. I like the fact that it's rated R. No PG-13 uh, nonsense for this one. Well, I want my dolls R-rated, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you want to hear more, head over to Gruesome Magazine and uh, check out for the trailer and other articles of, and eventually a review in August. And if you want to hear uh, a deeper dive into the uh, trailer itself, uh, check out Horror News Radio. Uh, I believe episode 209 will have that. So thank you for joining us tonight, Dave. Let's say goodnight. Goodnight.